Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cow mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and I'm here to help you make your slides amusing. This week's video is going to take a break from the PowerPoint tutorials and instead focus on something huge that Microsoft recently released for its Microsoft Office suite. So get this, you as a presenter can now import 3D models into your PowerPoint slides. Yes, it's 100% true. Just to show you what I mean, I'm not talking about some 3D image and sticking it in there. Oh no, I'm talking about legitimately using a 3D modeling file in your PowerPoint slide, an object you can scale, rotate, and play around with however you'd like. In fact, this presentation you're looking at right now is something I did in a short amount of time. And you know what? It's really, really easy to use as well. All you have to do is import a 3D file into your slide and get to work. Now I can already hear you asking, how do I do that? So let me show you. Some of you who are already subscribed to Office 365 can head to the Insert tab and then you'll see a button called 3D Models. When you press it, right now, you only have one option available, which is to actually import a 3D model onto your slide and play around with it like I did with this wolf. However, after a little research, it seems that in the near future, there will be an option to bring in models through Remix 3D and Paint 3D. This essentially means that Microsoft is trying to make these 3D models accessible to the wider public. And again, I can hear some of you guys going, I don't have that feature. So let me explain what's going on. As I said, this is part of an Office 365 update. This means you need to be subscribed to Office 365 to actually have this update downloaded and installed and registered as a newer version of your software. As far as I'm aware, people who use earlier versions of PowerPoint, such as PowerPoint 2013 or 2010, won't have access to this feature in particular. In fact, I checked around with some of my friends and colleagues who actually have PowerPoint 2016, but are not subscribed to Office 365 and they don't even have access to the 3D model feature either. But you know what, it gets even weirder. Apparently, this feature was rolled out in waves. What I mean by that is some people received it before others. I didn't have access to this feature until last week, but I found a few blogs who had access to this feature as early as July. That's two months ago. But despite all of that, one thing's for sure. This is a game changer for visual communication. Can you imagine what you can do with this thing? You can literally take an audience on a story surrounding just one model. For example, say you had a detailed 3D model of a hotel. You can take your audience on a tour and journey in and around the hotel. You can show off things from a bird's eye view while also zooming into one of the rooms from a window. The possibilities are really endless here. That said, I do foresee a few problems for the next year or two, especially since this is a brand new feature. There are going to be people who will struggle on how to do this quote unquote correctly. You're also going to have some people that have this feature and others who don't. So there's going to be a bit of struggle when it comes to compatibility. Nonetheless, these are just short term disadvantages. Once this thing becomes a norm, we're going to see some stellar presentations come up in the future. Anyway, some of you might have heard about this, others haven't. This is just an FYI. I don't think I'm going to make any tutorials in the near future covering this because not everyone has access to this feature yet. However, once this rolls out full scale, you can be damn sure I'm going to go crazy with it on the SlideCal platform. That's all for me. I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.